Now, the Young Turks proudly present a naked look at the party of family values, where GOP stands for and right to life takes a back seat to right to licentiousness. Republican sex capades, where real family values don't have a prayer. Hide the altar boys and cover the kitty's ears. Here's today's edition of Republican Sex Capades with Cliff Schechter. Well, we're back on the Young Turks and get a load of this. It's not only Jake Uger, but in the studio. Cliff Dog himself. Cliff Schechter is here. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing quite well. How you doing, my friend? Uh, I'm doing great because, as always, we're chock full of Republican sex capades. So here's the situation, guys. Uh, you know, we've had a lot of uh, sex stories this week regarding Republicans, some that are a little too much. Uh, earlier in the week, we told you about uh, gang rape that the Halliburton employees did in Iraq. That story is almost too depressing for Republican sex capades, and we've told you that before. So we're going to actually skip that, even though it's a giant story involving terrible sex uh, and a Republican company. I mean, the, it's the vice president's company. Uh, although he says, oh, well, I sold it and already made the profit, so it's got nothing to do with me. Uh, and we're going to do three other stories for you. So, Cliff, what's up first? Well, let me first say I'm just sort of honored to be in this shrine to Republican sexual dysfunction. And uh, <laughs> I you. want to thank you for having me in the studio. It's good stuff. Uh, first, this week, starting off, we have Eugene A. Evans. Um, to paraphrase a uh, certain Republican, Eugene has been a nasty boy, a dirty boy. Um, <laughs> a nasty, naughty boy. <laughs> nasty, naughty boy. Yeah, Eugene, uh, he was involved with the Sea Scouts. I didn't even know they had something like this. Oh, are, are you kidding me? I used to be a scout myself. I was a Cub Scout, and then you're going to love this. You know what's between a Cub Scout and a Boy Scout? Uh, <laughs> you know the, a Republican? A Scout leader? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, a Weeblo. A Weeblo. And I was, and I used to be a Republican, and I used to be a Weeblo. Jake was a Weeblo. That's awesome. <laughs> well, uh, I think uh, Eugene was a Weeblo, too. And uh, in his particular case, uh, he got very upset because this, the city of Berkeley decided that there was not equality uh, under the Boy Scouts because they were not allowing gays to participate in their activities. So this is the Sea Scouts. Again, I hadn't heard of that. They live on a, on a ship. Uh, the love boat. <laughs> they live on a ship. No, I hadn't heard that of that either. Yeah, they hang out on a okay. boat that's docked in in Berkeley, off of Berkeley. So, uh, Ber the the people of Berkeley or the government said this is we're not going to allow this, and you're going to have to pay rent like anybody else because you're no longer living up to our our code of equality. And so, uh, young Eugene, or he's actually like 65, but he sued them mm -hmm. uh, to say that they were fighting against uh, family values and being the horrible, horrible individuals that they are. Turns out uh, Mr. Evans himself uh, at the time was pulling a little bit of his own little sexually deviant Republican uh, version of Deborah Lefebvre. Uh, he was hanging out with the 13 to 17-year-old boys, and it comes out that uh, at least four of them he had uh, sexual contact with, and he's now being charged with it. I, 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 week after week, so we shouldn't be surprised. But, I mean, the guy didn't just say, hey, I'm for family values. He sued. He said, you know what? No, I'm going to make sure that there are no gay Boy Scouts other than the ones I'm sleeping with. Exactly. Okay? Those guys, I'm going to take them on the ship and show them a good time. But outside of that, I don't want any gay Boy Scouts. If you're not putting out, you're getting out. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. It's no, not funny. I'm sorry. It's yeah. not funny. Okay, but that's just the situation. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, honestly, it really is kind of a sad situation. This guy is another one that we, as we've gone over them, who uh, is obviously having problems with his own sexuality. He's a teacher too, so he found ways to be around young boys, which is kind of sickening. Are uh, these kids underage or are they? Uh, age you know? 13 to 17. Ah. Uh, so yes, they're underage. Yes, he used his position of power to convince them to sleep with him, and yes, he still had the gall to sue Berkeley because he didn't want to pay the $500 rent to have his love shack nested up next to Berkeley. He wanted it for free. That's what it was because he didn't want to pay rent where he was having gay sex. That's why he sued them and said, hey, don't allow any gays because I don't want to pay rent. Right, because if he had to pay for it, he'd then be Ted Haggard. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. All right. Okay. So, but the next one's going to be better, right? The the next story is not going to have that bad a hypocrisy, is it, Cliff? No, never. I mean, uh, molestation with Republicans. Okay, let's go, let's go to it. 
Jeffrey Ray Nielsen uh, worked, and this is a good uh, all California uh, episode here from my trip to California, so I'm pretty psyched. Jeffrey Ray Nielsen worked for uh, Representative Dana Rohrabacher. Uh-huh. We all know, crazy right-wing Republican, uh, completely 100% pro-life, hates gays, gay marriage, gay equality, you know, abstinence doesn't work, uh, the whole thing. Um, and this guy was one of his was chief aides. Uh, turns out that while he was in D.C. in 1994, he molested uh, a young man in Virginia, and uh, in the time since, he's molested a second young man. He was originally tried and charged with this, uh, denied that there was uh, that he had done it, and there was a hung jury on the first case. But then uh, the prosecutor, uh, excuse me, the prosecutor brought a second case, uh, and then finally he tearfully admitted that uh, his judge, his uh, uh, defense attorney, said it was time to resolve it. Blah blah blah, and he was sorry, and he pled guilty. Now he's going to be in the big house for three years. So this is Dana Rohrabacher's aide. Yes, one of his principal aides. Yeah. And how many uh, uh, is it men or boys he slept with? He slept with boys, uh, but uh, very conservative for a Republican. Only two. Only slept with two boys, as far as we know, as far as the case is concerned. And were they above age or underage? Uh, they were underage. Okay, well that's good. Standard, you know. He didn't want to deviate too much from the script. No. Go boys, go under it. You don't want to be you know, too gutsy and break the mold. <sighs> Jesus, man. Are they ever going to learn? By the way, I don't know if you guys, these Republicans, know. We do a segment called Republican Sexcapades. We're going to catch you. Okay? <laughs> and when we catch you, we're going to make fun of you. Okay? Plus, you might want to consider this. They're underage. You might want to have a conscience. You know, you might not want to molest them. How about you wait till they're 18 or 19, and when they're of age... And then come out of the closet and say, okay, you know what? It turns out I'm gay, and I'm really into you, dude. Yeah, get a okay. hold of Mark Foley's I am uh, and start I amming him. Yeah, that all, all of a sudden, that's a whole different situation. But No, it, it, listen, two adults who choose to be together, God bless them. In this case, we've got the same thing that we have so often here. It's a Republican taking advantage uh, of underage kids. Again, we did see it with Foley. We've seen it with others. Um, and, uh, and, you know, th- these guys don't show any remorse except for when they're caught. But you said it very well. First of all... You know, you're going to get caught in, in most cases. All right, have some morals. Uh, and if neither of those things happen, we're here. And uh, we've dedicated this show to pointing you out as well as mocking you for being unbelievably disgusting human beings. Right, and obviously hypocritical. So, uh, by the way, I forgot, one of these two stories had uh, tapes of hundreds of kids coming forward and saying, oh, by the way, you know, this guy uh, did something to me too. Was it the first one? I think it might have been the Boy Scout leader. It was. It was the Boy Scout leader, yes. There was hundreds of kids who then called in and said, oh, yeah, yeah, me too, me too, me too. And this is the guy that sued to make sure that there weren't any gays in the Boy Scouts. Also atheists, because, you know, there's nothing more dangerous when you're molesting kids in a Boy Scout troop than having somebody come in who doesn't believe in God. Well, the problem with atheists is they have no morals. Right. That's, that's a good point. We're a godly nation, and uh, we need God to have morality. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Cliff, these are the specific cases from this week, but um, I want to know what's generally on the mind of conservatives, because we're probably being unfair. I mean, yes, this happens to be a couple of bad apples every week. Week in and week out, we got barrels of bad apples. But probably the average conservative doesn't have homosexuality on his mind, probably. So how could we tell if they do or they don't? Well, you know, I would think to myself, I think, what would you know an average conservative be thinking about? I, I, I would have gone with possibly... Raising taxes on the poor. I, I might have gone with blowing up more brown people in the Middle East. Um, you know, th- there are a number of ways I could have gone with this. Right. Um, I did think homosexuals would rank up there. I just wasn't uh, ready for this. Mm-hmm. And what this is is conservapedia. Because as anybody knows, when any fact-based uh, organization is created, the right has to put up a mirror organization that lies about all the things that that fact-based organization does. So here you have Wikipedia. I'm not saying Wikipedia is perfect but it's people trying to put more knowledge out on the Internet. Conservatives, of course, think Wikipedia has a liberal bias, you know, because <laughs> it, it, it talks about things, crazy things, like, you know, the earth not being flat. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and it explains evolution. It doesn't say it's in favor of it. It just says this is what evolution is. But anyway, Wikipedia is not about that. You look at the top ten searches on Wikipedia, and it's like Harry Potter and Britney Spears. It's just like regular g- Guitar Hero. I hear that's a hot game. It's regular pop culture things that kids are looking up on the Internet. You know why Wikipedia is on the Internet? 
That's what they look up. Right. So what do conservatives look up right. on conservative media? You'd, you'd completely expect it to be the same kind of fun, interesting topics. And right, games. but, it, you know, it might be have a conservative bent. So it might be the Left Behind series, you that's know, true. books, something along those lines. I guess that's what it is, right? Cliff? There's the Annas. So <laughs> <laughs> it could be that, on the other hand. Was that our good friend, Mr. Oral Roberts? It was indeed. Oh, Oral Roberts and the Annas. Okay, so first we have a topic you've probably heard us discuss. It's homosexuality. The most viewed by 2,134,081 folks. That's number one. Uh, number two is just the main page. <laughs> you think that homosexual, like homosexuals were like when they got list of that uh, top ten conservative things, conservapedia list, they were like psyched. They were like, homosexuality number one. That's your party. Hey, we win something. We win among <laughs> conservatives. That's awesome. It is awesome. I, mean, okay. the, the, I know, yeah, there's definitely some, some folks in the uh, – uh, log cabin Republicans, I think, are pretty excited about that. Um, the second is the main page, so let's go past that. But third, here's a good one, homosexuality and anal cancer, because that's something that's on the rest of our minds. Um, 295,990 uh, page views there, or unique visits, I'm going to guess. Um, the homosexual agenda is fourth, 275,013. Arguments against homosexuality is fifth, 253,169. Then we get to examples of bias in Wikipedia, uh, more Wikipedia stuff. Adolf Hitler. Who wouldn't want to fit Adolf Hitler into a conservative uh, list of anything? Uh, theory of evolution is is number nine, and then the gayest one of all. David Beckham is number ten. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And if you don't think it's them, they have David Beckham there because they're dreaming of him in his little soccer shorts. Come on. Well, he is he's like an idol in, in the you know homosexual community, like Ricky Martin. Which doesn't mean he's gay. And of course, if he was, who cares? Right. But. But it is curious that conservatives are looking up David Beckham. I thought they were like, oh, soccer, who needs soccer? Who needs <laughs> That's not an American needs sport. Ball. Where's David Beckham in this show? So check that out. By the way, <laughs> they're making progress. Last time we did that story, uh, nine out of ten of the top ten were about homosexuality. So they've got some new one, non-homosexual ones there. But they, 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 my, you mean they managed to fit Hitler in over homosexuality? <laughs> yeah, so they're making progress, man. It's They're not only thinking about homosexuality anymore. It was literally nine out of ten when we did that story about a month ago. And uh, But the one place where they regress, other than David Beckham, is when we last did it, the main page was number one. Now, homosexuality has overtaken the main page. It's larger than the rest of the whole main page right. of conservapedia. Like, all right, let me check out homosexuality first, and then I'll go to the let's main page what, and see what else. Let's see what's up on <laughs> conservapedia this week. I've gotten past the gays. Now I can sort of check out what else is there. That's awesome. <laughs> Who doesn't love Republican sex fits? All right. Stay with us. Cliff Schechter from BraveNewFilms.org is going to stay and actually do the whole hour with us. I'm getting an wacky. Hour, an hour of Cliff Dog. You don't want to miss it. Young Turks, coming right back.